All right, y'all. So let's take this thing. Give her a shot. All right. Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Today, back on the Blackstone, y'all. Back on the Blackstone. We're gonna make some chicken cheesesteak subs. All right, lack of a better word. I ain't calling them Philly. So uh, Philly chicken sub, okay? That's another name for them. So we got some chopped up or cut up sliced uh, chicken thighs. Um, got some peppers couple different kinds of peppers onions mushrooms and provolone cheese and we're gonna cook this up on the blackstone and put it on a nice roll nice and melty nice and hot and this is gonna be good y'all so stick around check it out let's do it all right y'all so what we got today I went ahead and cut up some chicken thighs so there's some nice chicken thighs sliced in strips so I bought whole chicken thighs, deboned them, pulled the skin off, left a lot of the fat on there. Fat is flavor, y'all. All right. Got some red and orange peppers. So I bought these little peppers, little sweet red peppers and orange peppers. Um, sliced up the onion. So when I slice these, peppers up the way I did it just cut them down cut them in half clean the seeds out okay flatten them out and just slice them in strips All right, just like that. All right, got some mushrooms, some uh, creminis, the brown mushrooms. So basically cut those in half, sliced them up, just like that. Got a stem, slice some stems up too. All right. <clears throat> got some sub rolls here. Now for my sandwich, I'm going to make two sandwiches. One of them is going to be for mama. So I'm going to make that too spicy. I've got some uh, jardinier, some hot jardinier right there. I put some in a cup. So I'll put a picture of the jar up here. This is good stuff. Yummy. Hot though. This is made with um, serrano peppers, onions, carrot good stuff and we're gonna season everything once again with my Cosmos SPG all right so let's get this show on the road y'all all right to start this off I'm gonna turn all burners on low so we're gonna let this thing come up to temp let it get hot Got me a couple of new spatulas. These are lightweight, stainless steel. I like the rounded edges. So we're gonna try these out today. I'll leave a link to these down below. I can't think of the manufacturer right now, but uh, the link will be below to those. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this chicken started. So I'll put me a shot of olive oil over here. Get the chicken on. Spread it on out. Okay. 
Now I noticed with those spatulas with the squared off edges, that was scratching the surface kind of, which is not really a big deal, but. So I'm gonna kind of get this chicken in one layer here. Let it cook up. I get our seasoning, our Cosmos SPG. Season that up. Give it a nice little coat. All right, not too much. I put another little shot of olive oil on here. There we go. I think I'm gonna kick the heat up just a teeny bit to about medium, medium low over here. Take a look at this chicken. Yeah, we'll let it get a little brownish. All right, we'll go ahead and give this a toss. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this chicken down. A little more olive oil. Let's get our vegetables on there. Don't forget to season your vegetables. All right, let's let this stuff cook up a little bit and we'll bring it back. I'm gonna put a little bit more olive oil on our veggies. Give them a toss.
chop this chicken up a little bit. Move these over a little bit. Toss our veg a little bit. All right, a little more olive oil. <clears throat> Get our mushrooms on. There we go. All right, mushrooms need a little lot uh, more oil, so we'll put a little more olive oil on the mushrooms. Give them a little seasoning. So we're going to go ahead and mix everything together. Actually, let me bring the chicken over here, closer to y'all. Give it a little mix. Put the mushrooms in there. Slide all this over here. All burners are on low. Give it a quick clean up over here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take our rolls. Cut the ends off. I just like the way that looks better. With the ends cut off. Down the side here. Let those warm up a bit. Now, I ain't gonna need all this stuff. Let me go get a container real quick. All right, one thing I forgot that I wanted to put on here, some Lee and Perrins, Wishes for sauce. Not a whole lot. About a tablespoon or so. 
All right, give this a mix. All right, now we're gonna get enough for a sandwich. And the rest of it, we'll save for later. So we'll make, make these piles about as big as our bread. One thing I forgot to show y'all earlier, look at these breads, make sure they're doing good. Yep, we're doing good. So I got some provolone cheese. Three pieces on each pile. All right. Let's get our dome. Little shot of water. Dome them up for a minute. All right, let's see what we're looking like here. Looking good, looking good. <clears throat> so, I'll take this bread and kind of dome that a little bit. Now for this one, I'm gonna put my jardinier on top of this one. All right. All right, now for this one, let's see here. We'll go ahead, wrap this one up for them. When I say them, I'm talking about my wife and daughter. All right, so we'll put that one over there for now. Take this one. Philly chicken sub or a chicken steak sub, what do you want to call it? Ooh, this is going to be fun to eat right here, y'all. All right. All right, y'all. So let's take this thing. Give her a shot. All right. Here we go. Philly style chicken sub with peppers, mushrooms, provolone cheese. It's going to be good, y'all. It's going to be messy. Y'all ready? I'm gonna take two hands. Let me get a, let me get a paper towel or two. Oh 
All right, y'all. I don't want to lose the goodies out of here now. So, one more look. Look at that. Y'all ready? Taste. The peppers, onions, mushrooms, seasoned perfectly, not too much. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's right easy to do. Y'all yeah, can do it too. Look at that. So, thanks for watching. I appreciate you stopping by, giving me a visit. Any questions, comments, leave them below. And if you would, I appreciate it. Leave me a thumbs up. Help support my channel. I will uh, leave the links below for those spatulas. I like those spatulas. They work really nice. And as always, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button over here. <laughs> it's up in there somewhere. So, we'll see y'all next time. Bye, everybody.